ages. It feels like ages since I last saw you all. <laughs> it's Friday. It's now Monday. <laughs> anyway, I've had a really, really busy weekend. Oh, my weekend. You wouldn't have wanted my weekend. It was cabin building in the woods on Exmoor. Where's she gone? She was here a minute ago. I've lost her. Anyway. Um, yeah, it broke us. <laughs> it was horrendous. Anyway, we got it done. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my pictures of my pain. Um, if not, have a look. It's Pauline Date. That's my Instagram um, name. And um, have a look. Yes. Kimmy brought home um, a friend. She got a tick. So I've just been, we've got a tick extraction thing. Um, she, under her eye, bless her. Anyway, I, we didn't get home till 20 past nine last night. I couldn't find this tick thing. So the, you know, extraction thing. So I've just been to work. I've been to the vets, come home. £4.50 for a little bit of plastic. £4.50. But you can't just pull them out because they do this and you can't get them out. So um, horrible little things. Ooh. So uh, there's lots of sheep, obviously, around where my um, sister-in-law lives on Exmoor. So, um, yes. So I'm waiting for Jason to come home. He can do it. <laughs> I don't fancy doing it. No. Anyway, I'm going to do some cooking. <laughs> so I'm winging it tonight. I've got a few bits and pieces, so I'm going to put together a butternut squash and I've got some uh, ricotta. I picked up some sunflower seeds. Are they sunflower seeds? No, they're not. They're pumpkin seeds, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've got some pumpkin seeds. I've got a pepper, mushroom, paprika, some chives, some parsley, some mushrooms and some phyllo pastry. I've chopped up my mahusiv. If you saw my shopping haul, you'd have seen I had this massive great butternut squash. I've chopped it in half. So I've got the top half as two halves. Yeah, are you with me? <laughs> I'm baking those in the oven. And the other half I've chopped up. So that's in the oven as well. So it's all in the oven on a tray with spray light. So, these, these are my bits and pieces that I've got. Let's turn you around. There's birds out there. So, let's get rid of these. These are the pips that come out, seeds, not pips, that came out of the butternut squash. Sorry, Jason come home, so I was distracted. Anyway. Kimmy's no, no longer Tiki. Are you, Kim? Kim? Tiki gone? Yay! All happy now. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Yay! You dancing? <laughs> <laughs> happy girl. <laughs> Mummy did it. Daddy didn't want to do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, now I've seen you do it though. I'll do it next time, apparently. Mm. I'll hold him to that. Anyway, go on in the garden. Go play. Go find Basil. Go on. As I was saying, I've taken out the seeds out of the butternut squash. I did previously, not this time, but another occasion, I put these in the oven. <coughs> Sorry. I put these in the oven because I thought I could eat them. You know, like, like these. I thought, oh, if I dry them out in the oven, you could eat these. No, you can't. Well, I couldn't. I didn't know. I put salt and pepper and paprika on them. And then put them in the oven with a bit of oil. Not, you know, spray light. Ugh, no, they were horrible. I put them in the bin. So, you give it a try. See what you think. But I thought that would be a cheap alternative, you know, using up the whole thing. But, No. Not for me. <laughs> Didn't like it. I'll just get rid of these in my food bin. Oh, God. And those. Does everybody have those food bins? You know the little caddy? And you have to put all your food waste in it. If you get caught putting your food in the dustbin, you get fined. Oh, honestly. Right. So that's that. So. My... Butternut squash is um, still in the oven at the moment. <coughs> Sorry, I've developed a stupid cough. 
Now what I want to do is cut up some mushroom and some um, sweet pepper. So I'm going to do that now and then come back to you in a minute. So I've chopped up some pepper and I've chopped up some um, mushroom. I've got my pan out and I'm going to put it on high and spray it. And then I'm just going to soften my um, pepper and my mushroom in there. This morning I had a, um, a herbal tea company get in touch with me and they're going to send me some freebies they wanted to know if I would um, trial some, um, some herbal teas for them and um, give my obviously my verdict and my opinion on Instagram so yeah so they're going to send me some, um, some, some freebies so I shall let you know how that goes um, Fit tea, it's called. So we shall see. Right, so I've got my mushrooms and I've got my peppers in there, and I'm going to put some garlic in there as well. My ricotta, I got it cheap actually, it was reduced to 36p. But I don't think it's overly expensive anyway, normally. Um, Think. Let me just see if I get this off. Each, I'm saying each 30 grams is 35 calories. So I'm going to be doing this for four. Because so, we're going to have it tonight, two of us. And then we're going to have oh, the rest of it below me tomorrow. I didn't want to come out. Oh. Little monkey, right? And I've only got to do a four day week this week, and then I'm going on holiday on Saturday. Yay! I can't wait my annual holiday. Um, so that means though, I won't be able to do any, um, any videoing or anything. So I'll miss you all, <laughs> but um. I'll have lots of recipes when I get back. I'll be thinking about while I'm away. I'll be thinking about all the different recipes and new things that I can do when I get home from my holiday. So I've got Friday off, so I'm going to be fiddling around doing bits and pieces, getting ready. And then Saturday morning we're leaving, and we're off for two weeks. And it's our wedding anniversary on Monday, so um, looking forward to that. Yeah, so, yeah, can't wait. Oh, two whole weeks. Lovely. You do like two weeks holiday, you know, you can really unwind and relax. The only thing is, it's so, so darn difficult coming back. <laughs> right, so that's the garlic. Stick that in. So I've got three, about three cloves of garlic going in here. Oh, tomorrow, nightmare, donut day, honestly. It's um, our end of year at work and to celebrate they're buying everyone donuts. So there's 340 employees. So, yeah, we're all getting a donut. <laughs> right. So, that's that. Make sure you wash your hands under the cold tap when you've been touching the garlic, and it stops your hands from stinking of garlic. So, there, put that in there. I mean, you could put some chilli in here if you wanted to. So I'm just sort of softening it, I'm not cooking it completely. Right, I'll leave 
leave it on the heat but I'll turn it off and I think that'll be long enough. Then what I'm going to do, get rid of a whisk. I'm going to get a bowl and in my bowl I'm going to get half of the ricotta, that's that garlic on it. going in there, some paprika, I don't think I've opened this yet, no I haven't, and some chives, I always find it's easier to cut your chives with scissors. Nice, Jace. <laughs> so, just a few snips of chives going in. Okay. And then I'm just going to chop up. Some parsley, Lordy. finely chop it, pop that in, right it's going to take that off the heat, I don't want that garlic burning even though the heat's not on, there you go, just going to check my um, butternut squash, Way. all cooked. Lovely. Right. Put those two there. Right. So, I was just going to pull this out where I didn't get it all out. Oh, that's hot. There we go. squash back on my tray and I popped it together and then I chopped up some um, mushroom into small little bits and I'm going to pop that inside like so give it a bit of a squish down a little bit on there even it out okay then I'm going to put a bit of pepper on there A 
little bit of spray light. And dusting of paprika. Then I've got some lighter halloumi. Just be careful because there is juice, there's water in there when you open it. I'm just going to cut off a little bit. going to pop some in. I've got a little bit of halloumi. And then to that I'm just going to add a little bit of half fat mozzarella. That also has water in it. So let's do it over the sink. going to get a little bit of that as well and I'm just going to tear that and put that on top. This is for two people so you know I know you think oh cheese but it's not a lot of cheese going on there you know. So that's that then I'm just going to wipe my hands give that cracker pepper. Oh I need to get a new one. Let's get a new one, Kimbo. Now I'm going to pinch some of this parsley, put some of that on top, cut it down a bit. Now I'm going to pop that back in the oven for about five minutes, six minutes. Meanwhile, it's all going, isn't it? Going to Cut my butternut squash, get the skin off, um, which is pretty easy to do. I find it an absolute killer trying to peel a butternut squash. It is, I have done it, I don't know why I did it, but you can almost break your, chop your hands off trying to do it. So I always now cook it. You can actually eat the skin, but I don't want that it's a bit, you know, it is a little bit tough. It's fibrous, you know. I don't want that in there. So, I'm taking it off. It's so simple to cook it with it on and then just chop it off after. Oh, pink and neck. Need asbestos fingers, mine. That's it. Then what I'm going to do is chop it up and I want it to cool down a little bit. Now bearing in mind I paid £1.50 for this butternut squash. Um, I paid 36p for my uh, ricotta. I paid... Um, there's how much were they? I was trying to think. The chives were 23p. Um, the pumpkin seeds were full price, so I did have to pay for those. But I'm not going to use all those. I mean, they'll last me a while, those pumpkin seeds, to be honest with you. Right. So there's going to be three different types of meals that I'll get from this. Those two will be used um, to go in a salad, cold, so you have a nice butternut squash salad um, for a lunch or something like that. Um, or I'm wondering, you could always um, maybe freeze that down. I haven't done it before, but I'm sure it would freeze okay. I'm sure it would. If you put it into like um, a Tupperware um, container, I'm sure it will freeze down nicely. This is going in the ricotta and then I've got the baked one in the oven. So that's three different different things going on. So, 
Jimmy's gone to bed, she's got fed up with waiting. <laughs> I've got my ricotta here, remember, and I'm going to now add my mushrooms and my pepper. Oh, my garlic I had in there, didn't I? That's all going in. 